the calendar we all currently use in modern society. It's called the Gregorian calendar. It was invented by the Catholic Church, by Jesuit priests in the 1580s, assigned by Pope Gregory to fix the problems in the calendar because, I'm sorry, I'm screaming at you here. You got me started. Scream, get crazy. I gotta calm down. I'll bring in coffee. (sighs) The Julian calendar put forth in ancient Rome had one modification to previous calendars. It had a leap day. Okay, it had a leap day. And okay, leap day is how often? Every four years. This was good. Because what are we trying to track? We're trying to, it's Earth goes around the sun. And so we say, all right, how long does that take? Well, it takes a year. But it turns out we're not actually tracking how long it takes Earth to go around the sun. We're ha- tracking how long it takes Earth to repeat its seasons. And the, repeat, the year that corresponds to our seasons is slightly different from the year that corresponds to how long it takes to go around the sun. Slightly different. And that difference was not recognized in the early calendars. And that difference accumulated so that by the year 1584, the vernal equinox, the first day of spring, did not occur on March 21st. It occurred on March 10th. It shifted from the calendar date That's what happens if you don't match the cycles of things. And the Pope said, we're not having any of this, especially since Easter might land on Passover, and we're trying to distinguish ourselves mightily from the Jews, so let's fix this. The Jesuit priests got to study this. They looked at the cycles of the heavens, the sun, the moon, the stars, and they came up with a new calendar, the Gregorian calendar, a modification to the Julian calendar. You know what they had to do? To invoke it, they had to take 10 days out of the calendar. To, to jumpstart, to put the first day of spring back on March 21st. And this happened in October 1584. Why is there been... They took 10 days out of the calendar. That is so crazy. now how much rent do you pay? They have to like invent amortized rent. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, because you're going to pay for three weeks instead, you know, 20 days instead of 30. That They have to figure that out. Okay? Point is... This was hard earned, and the whole world uses this calendar. It is the most accurate calendar ever devised. Is okay? it? Yes, I'll tell you what. Okay, you asked. So watch what happens. The leap day overcorrected the calendar. It overcorrected it. Overcorrect. Yes. Yes. So you need a leap year. So, no, no, sorry, the leap day is every four years. <laughs> that one day every four years was slowly putting too many days into the uh, moments into the year. Okay? The Gregorian calendar figured this out, and it had put 10 extra days since the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar. 10 extra days. First, jump start. Get rid of the 10 days. Now everything's lined up again. Okay. Now, how do you prevent this from happening again? Because it overcorrects, how long do you have to wait to remove a leap day that you would otherwise put in? Okay? Okay. That's every 100 years. Oh. So every 100 years that would be a leap day, you remove the leap day. Now, it turns out that undercorrects it by an even smaller amount, okay? So, how long do you have to wait before you have to put a leap day back in? Every 400 years. Oh, God. So, the year 2000 was a century year, which normally would not have a leap day. Except it's a century year evenly divisible by 400, so they put the leap day back in. And everybody on February, almost everybody, everybody except the astronomers, on February 29th in the year 2000 said it's just a leap year because it's divisible by four. No, it is a rare leap year. It is a century year divisible by 400. That corrects it back, and so now you have a stable calendar for tens of thousands of years. I gotta give props to the Jesuit priests. I'm not gonna say, no, I'm taking the Christianity out of this reference, because they figured out the calendar that we all use, and it's a fucking awesome count. Sorry to drop an F-bomb there, (laughs) but I had, so I'm not just because some atheists are telling me to rid God out of everything in the universe, that to, to, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm going to say, they came up with this calendar, the reasons were because they didn't want to confuse it with Passover. The motivation is whatever it is, but the science is, is good. And so there it is. So in Accessory to War, where we go back many centuries, the editor said, well, we should use BCE because it's a liberal forward thing. I said, I am not using BCE wow. and CE. 
Get, and by the way, there, there was no year zero. You know why mm. there's no year zero? Because the Romans came up with the calendar and they counted using Roman numerals and Roman numerals don't have a zero. Ooh. It was not yet invented. They didn't have a zero? No! No! So it went from 1 BC to AD 1. Jesus. BC is before Christ, AD is Anno Domini in Latin, the year of our Lord. Wow. Yeah. Now, of course, in, in, in Islam and in China and in, uh, um, in Hebrew cultures, uh, Israel in particular, they have access to the Chinese calendar, the Muslim calendar. Muslim, of course, dates to Muhammad. Chinese calendar dates to actually a planetary alignment in 4,700 BC. Yeah, they don't, they use a different system. Well, they use correct? a different system, that's fine. And the uh, Hebrew calendar dates to like the beginning of the universe as interpreted in the, in the Torah. So they have access to those, but when they're conducting international business, we just simply use the Gregorian calendar, just get over it. 